hi, good afternoon. I'm Josephine Casero, just call me in short, Jocas. So I'm one of the grassroots leader. At the same time, I'm an organizer. At present, I'm the project manager of a grassroots women-led organization called is OFP Dampa or Solidarity of Press Filipino People, uh, which has a 67 grassroots local organization members nationwide. We organize grassroots communities in order to be capacitated, to empower grassroots women, and to do collaboration and partnership with different stakeholders, government, private institution, from local to global level. One of our programs that we're doing so that our organization will be uh, resilient because due to climate change and disasters, we need to do resilience building of our community. So we do savings mechanisms and we do risk management by giving awareness raisings to our grassroots women. And during pandemic, we teach our grassroots women how to use uh, Android phones in order to, to be a part of different communication platforms so that in order to we can implement whatever programs and projects that we need to do during this pandemic or lockdown. We partner Department of Agriculture so that our farmers can access seed, seedlings and fertilizer in order to, to have their own vegetable gardens or communal gardens in their own community. And through savings mechanisms, it's not a problem during lock, lockdown, the food security, because of this savings, and they use this one to put a food bank. This food bank is accessible within the community and cheap. There's no need of going to a risky areas like market. All they need to do is to just buy all their needs from our uh, community food bank. Grassroots women and communities must be organized. They they need to you know to work with other groups, not only by themselves in their own communities. They need, they need to do networking, coalition building, partnership, collaboration with different stakeholders, government, NGOs, or private institutions, UN institutions, so that they can, you know, access programs and resources from them. And then we need to be involved in policy advocacy and to be involved in some decision-making spaces so that our, our voices will be heard. This time in CBE 15, we have a new, a new second liner leader who become our speaker. It was Leia Candela. So it's also our legacy to have different level of leaders to be involved in this CBE uh, forums and international conference.